Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Amit and today we are going to discuss about Python list. So friends, if you are new here or haven't subscribed yet, please do not forget to subscribe. So uh, this is just a brief description about Python list. So uh, list are a collection of data which is ordered and changeable. List can contain other data types like integer, float, strings. List are mutable and hence can be changed after their creation. The elements in list are indexed using uh, the index number with zero being the first index. List are useful for preserving a sequence of data and list can be created by just placing the elements inside the square bracket. So this is just a brief description like uh, what is a list and uh, now go to the CLI and we will see so first of all let's uh, let's create a list with some elements let's say one two three 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 four let's say a string we have cisco and uh, we have a float let's say 7.8 so we have list one which is uh, we have this much of elements and in list we can perform indexing as well as slicing the same way we can we had performed with uh, strings so if we need to, to perform indexing we say list zero sorry so at index zero we have zero yeah of course uh, the indexing starts from zero one two three four five six and seven and the same way if we count from the right hand side it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7 and minus 8. So if we see 7 we get 7.8. So this is our last element and this was uh, just indexing like uh, we need to know which element is at which position. And if we need to perform slicing, we can perform slicing as well. Let's say from 1 to 7, we get 2 to Cisco. So it will go from 1 up to the index 6. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So the same way indexing we can perform with negative as well. Let's say minus 6 to minus 2. we get this result because minus 6 is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 and we will go from minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 we will go from minus 4 to 6 to minus 3 so uh, this was just uh, a brief about uh, indexing and slicing we have already seen it in uh, uh, strings so now we will look at some of the important methods in list so how do we know like uh, what are the methods available for list so we just do dir and we do dir for list so when we do it we get all the methods that are available for list so these are the methods append clear copy count extend index insert pop remove reverse and sort some of these methods are mutable and some of these are immutable so again uh, mutable means that will change the existing list and immutable means uh, that will not change it so first we will start with uh, index and count so what index will do uh, the index method will provide the index number of an element if we need to know the element uh, if we need to know the index number of an element we can use this index method so we have list one is this and if we need to know the index number of let's say 3 we get 2 so 0 1 2 so it provided the index number of first three not the other three if we need to know the index number of three after that we can just do index of this after index two 
from index 3 so we get 3 so now we will get for this one uh, the same way uh, we can uh, we, if we need to know the index of let's say 4 it's at fifth position and now the count method uh, the count is used to count the number of occurrence of an elements in a list so it will tell us how many times an element has came inside a list so we have list one is this and if we need to count the so if we need to count the number of one we have one one time if we need to count three we get three three times so we have three three times in this list if we need to count uh, seven we get zero because seven is not there so these are the two methods uh, index and count so now we will see clear and copy so what will what clear does uh, clear will remove all the elements from a list we have list one is this if we do list one clear and now if I see list one so now the list one is empty before clearing the list we had this much of elements and after we perform the clear operation we had this much of elements So I will just put those elements back. So again we have this and uh, we have copy as well. So why we use copy? Uh, we need to we use copy to copy a list to some other list. Let's say we need to create a new list called list 3 and uh, we need that uh, list 3 to be same as list 1 so what we will do list 3 and we will do list 1 dot copy and now if I see list 3 and list 1 so we see we have same elements in list 3 and list 1 because we just copied all the elements of list 1 into list 3 and uh, now we will see append and insert so what append method does we had append and we had insert so what it does uh, append is used to add an element at the end of the list so we had list one which is this if I need to add some element let's say hundred sorry 100 and if I see list 1 so we see 100 has been added to the existing list and the 100 is added at the end of the list the same way we have insert insert is also used to uh, is also used to add a new element to a list but in uh, in insert we can specify the index number so we had list 1 is this so if I need to insert or add a new element we will do insert I will specify the index number let's say index number is 3 and I need to add the element 50 so we see we have 50 at index number 3 it's 0 1 2 and 3 so we had uh, added uh, 50 to index position 3 and now we have uh, append clear copy count extend now we will see extend pop remove so what extend will do uh, extend is a method uh, that is used to copy one list to other list so we have list one is this and let's create list two list two is not there so let's make list two and add some element let's say Cisco and Apple so list 2 is this list 1 is this and let's say I need to add list 2 to list 1 so what I can do I can just extend the list so let's see 
so what i will do i will do list one dot extend and what i need to extend i need to extend list two now if i see list one we see uh, the elements of list two which are apple and cisco has been added to list one so this was the extend method and uh, now we will see pop method so what pop does so pop will re remove the elements of a list and by default it removes the last element so if i need to do pop it will remove apple if i do it again remove cisco it will remove 100 it will remove 7.8 now if i see list one so we had only this much of elements first we remove the apple then cisco then 100 then 7.8 so we only left with this much of elements in list one so this was a pop method which removes the last element of a list and we had remove as well and in remove method we can specify the elements that we want to remove so we have list one is this if we perform remove and I need to remove let's say three and now if I see list one so we see it has removed the first three if I do it again it removed the second three and if I do it again, it removed all the threes from the list. So we only left with 1, 2, 50, 4 and Cisco. So this was a remove method and now we have a reverse and sort that is applicable only for integers and floats. So now I will create another list. We have list 2 is this. So let's create list 4. And let's put some element 4, 7, 8, 6, 3. So now we had list 4 with, uh, with 4 elements 4, 7, 8, and 3. So uh, we will use sort method. So what sort will do? Sort will arrange the elements of a list in ascending order. So if I do list 4 dot sort. And now if I see list 4, it has arranged the elements in ascending order from increasing order 3, 4, 7 and 8. And if I do reverse, so it will just reverse the order. Now we see we had 8, 7, 4 and 3. So this was sort. Which sorted, uh, which sorted the elements of a list in ascending order and this is reverse. It just reversed it to opposite order. So uh, guys this was uh, just all about list and list methods. Thank you guys for watching. If it was informative to you please like it, share it and hit the subscribe button for upcoming tutorials. If you guys have any queries please comment on the comment box below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys. See you soon in next tutorial.